Welcome to the course Electronic Circuits and Analysis 1. We are in unit number 1, Linear Wave Shaping Circuits. Now we are at problem number 2. In the last class we solved one problem. Now we are going to solve another problem. In this problem, the circuit that is given is an RC circuit where you are taking the voltage across the capacitor V0 of T and you are giving the input VI of T. And you are already aware of the input signal that is a step input signal. Okay. How does the step input signal is going to vary? Step input signal is a function of time t where it is going to vary suddenly at t is equal to 0 from 0 volts to 10 volts. Okay. So input is going to vary from 0 volts to 10 volts. And thereafter it is going to remain constant. This is what the behavior of the step input signal. So when this kind of input signal is applied to this circuit, by the way, what is the name of this circuit? You are already known that the name of this circuit is RC. Okay, so this circuit is already known to us that it is called as RC low pass filter circuit. So given an RC low pass filter circuit, you are asked to find out what is the output for the given input signal, right? Not only that, you are asked to find some more questions and those questions are like this question number one is question number one is rise time you need to find out rise time tr we have seen in the last class rise time is uh, given by the expression 2.2 times tau where tau stands for time constant of the circuit okay so that we need to find then you need to find time required for the output to reach 63.2% of the final value. Okay, time required for the output to reach 63.2% of the final value, right? What is the final value? The final value is 10 volts. Okay, the final value is 10 volts, right? When the input applied is a maximum of 10 volts, then what is the maximum output voltage across the capacitor you could see as 10 volts only, right? So out of the 10 volts, okay, what is the time required for reaching only 63.2% of the final value that is 10 volts, okay? So in order to reach 6.32 volts across the capacitor, how much is the time that is required? Normally, how much is the time that is required by your capacitor to reach to the maximum 100% of the final value, which is 10 volts, 5 tau seconds, okay, where tau is given by R and C, okay, tau is given by R and C, and you require a 5 tau seconds to reach the maximum value. But here we are asked to find out, in order to reach only up to 6.32 volts, then what is the time that will be required, right? Okay. And the third question is, we need to find the output voltage when t is equal to 100 microseconds okay as output function uh, is dependent on time variable t we are asked to find the output at t is equal to 100 microseconds right okay and the fourth one is and the fourth one is time required to reach 7.8 volts across the capacitor Okay, so when you, when you want your output to be 7.8 volts, then what is the time required? Okay, or how much time is required for reaching the output to be 7.8 volts, right? You know how much time is required for reaching to the 10 volts, but you calculate now for reaching up to only 7.8 volts, how much time is required, right? Okay, then lastly, it is time required to reach 4.8 volts across the resistor. Okay, our circuit consists of consists of a resistor as well as the capacitor. So if I want my voltage across the resistor to be 4.8 volts, then what should be the time that is required? Okay, what should be the time that is required? So these are all the things that we need to find out. And what else is given in the question is, in the question it is given that R is equal to 50 kilo ohms 
and C is equal to 500 pico farad. I hope you know pico stands for 10 power minus 12. Okay. So given an RC circuit with R value 50 kilo ohms and C value 500 pico farads, when uh, an input signal like a step input signal whose value is 10 volts is applied to this circuit, we were asked to find out all these things. Okay, so that is the question. So let us try to solve this particular question, right? Okay. For finding output voltage across the capacitor, for finding the output voltage across the capacitor, we'll be using an equation Vf minus Vf minus Vi into E power minus of T minus Ti by tau. Okay. So this is the equation that we will be using for determining the output voltage. Okay. Then my output voltage is 0 volts for T less than 0. Why it is 0 volts for T less than 0? Because for T less than 0, input is 0. When input is 0, output is 0, right? So that is why my output is 0 volts when T is less than 0. Now I need to find my output when my T is in between 0 to infinity. When my T is in between 0 to infinity, what is my input voltage? My input voltage is given as 10 volts. Okay, your input suddenly changed from 0 volts to 10 volts at t is equal to 0. Okay, and now you are asked to find out what is your output voltage. And how do I find the output voltage using this equation, which is given by Vf minus Vf minus Vi into e power minus of t minus ti by tau. Of course, we know all these parameters Vf, ti, vi, and tau which we have discussed in the last class when solving our first problem, okay? So you could feel comfortable in getting the answer very quickly because this is already being done in the last problem, right? So what is my VF is given as? What is my TI is given as? What is my VI is given as? And what is my tau is? Okay, what is my tau is, right? So what is my VF is? Over this interval, my input signal is 10 volts. Vf is already known to you that it is the output voltage when you are measuring at t is equal to infinity. Okay. As you are looking at t is equal to infinity, the capacitor uh, has got enough time for reaching to the maximum voltage that is 10 voltage. Okay. So as we are already aware that capacitor requires a phytoseconds for completely charging to the maximum value. As you are looking at T is equal to infinity, my voltage across the capacitor is going to be 10 volts, right? And the TI is the time at which input is applied. At what time your input has applied, suddenly your input has changed from 0 volts to 10 volts at T is equal to 0. Over this interval, the initial time at which you are applying the input is 0 seconds. At the same time, when you look at your output, that is what we are denoting with Vi, okay? Vi is not input, but it is an output at a time t is equal to 0 seconds. At a t is equal to 0 seconds, suddenly you have changed the input signal, okay? So when you look at your uh, circuit here, okay? When you look at your circuit here, at a t is equal to 0, suddenly you change your input from 0 to 10 volts. But when you look at your voltage across the capacitor, at the same time, is the voltage across the capacitor is going to change from 0 to 10 volts? No, because your capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously. Okay, so as your capacitor voltage cannot change instantaneously, the voltage across the capacitor, when you are looking at T is equal to 0, at which time the input has changed suddenly from 0 volts to 10 volts, is nothing but 0. Okay, so that is why my voltage across the capacitor at T is equal to Ti is nothing but 0 volts, okay? And tau is equal to what? Tau is nothing but Rc. What is R value? 
R value is given as 50 kilo ohms and C value is given as 500 pico farad. Okay. As and when uh, we need to substitute tau value, we can uh, substitute the RC value and we will get the output expression. Okay. So now I will, I will be substituting the equation. So here my output is given as V naught of t is equal to Vf is 10 minus Vf is 10 minus Vi is 0 into e power minus of t minus ti is 0 divided by tau. Okay. So when I simplify further, okay, when I simplify further, it is given as 10 into 1 minus e power minus of t by tau. Okay. So this is what is the expression I got for my output voltage. Okay. Though we have derived this where my input voltage is denoted with capital V, but here it is given as 10 volts. But anyway, I have derived once again so that you will be recollecting your output voltage equation. Again, you will be coming to know how to get back this Vf value, Ti value, Vi value. So this is what is the output voltage equation across the capacitor, right? So now let us try to find out what is tau V is, okay? What is tau V is given as? Tau V is given as RC, okay? Where R is given as 50 kilo, okay? 50 kilo and C is given as 500 pico. Pico stands for 10 to the power of minus 12. So this is going to be, how much is my tau? 25 microseconds okay 25 microseconds okay tau is found to be 25 microseconds right okay okay what is our first question find the rise time right what is the rise time that is given as in the last class we derived rise time as okay in the last class we derived an expression for rise time as rise time is equal to 2.2 times tau okay what is tau we got we got tau as 25 microseconds okay 25 microseconds right so this is the first question what we need to answer that is rise time okay that is nothing but rise time so what is the value of this the value of this is given as 55 microseconds. So micro is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 6. That I have written in terms of micro. So rise time, the first question, rise time is given as 2.2 times tau, where tau is nothing but your RC. Okay. RC we have already found out. That is 25 microseconds. So at your second question. What is the second question we need to find? The second question is, time required for output to reach 63.2% of final value, okay, 63.2% of the final value, okay, okay. So what is that we need to find? Time required for reaching the output 63.2%. So I was right, I am writing the output voltage equation, V naught of T is equal to V into 1 minus e power minus t by tau. Okay. Is this right? Only thing is I have kept here the voltage V where V is given in the question as 10 volts. Okay. So except that everything is same as what we got as an expression. Right. Now let us see that what is my output voltage at t is equal to tau. Okay. At t is equal to tau, what is my output voltage? My output voltage is given as capital V into 1 minus e power minus 1. Okay. Right. How much is e power minus 1? 0.3678. Okay. Right. So when I substitute here, I will be getting 0 0.632. Okay. So what is the meaning of this? Okay. At t is equal to tau, I got the output as 63.2% of my maximum value. Okay. 
63.2% of my maximum value. So when you are asked to find out what is the time at which the output is 63.2% of the maximum value, okay, that is 10 volts, is nothing but tau, okay. So at t is equal to tau, okay, at t is equal to tau, right, at t is equal to tau, 63.2% of 10 volts, yes or no? The maximum value is 10 volts and 63.2% of 10 volts is nothing but the time at which you are calculating, which is nothing but tau. So what is tau? Tau is nothing but you have already calculated, which is 25 microseconds, right? So the second question is time at which the output is 63.2% of the final value, which is 10 volts is nothing but 25 microseconds, okay? So a new definition, tau is nothing but time constant, okay? How is the time constant now can be defined as? Time constant is now defined as, right? So what is the definition? Time required for your output to reach to 63.2% exactly is what is being termed as time constant, okay? That is what is indirectly asked in the second question, right? Okay. The third question is, find the output voltage when T is equal to 100 microseconds, okay? So we got the expression for V naught of T as 10 into 1 minus E power minus T by tau, okay? What is that I have written? V naught of T is equal to 10 into 1 minus E power minus of 100 by 25. 100 is microseconds, 25 is also microseconds. So I'll be canceling this, okay? So this is given by 10 into 1 minus e power minus 4, okay? So what is the value I can find when I simplify this? Roughly 9.81 volts, okay? 9.81 volts, right? Okay, so this is the third question. What we need to find is output voltage at t is equal to 100 microseconds. My output voltage is given by this expression. So substitute t is equal to 100. So my output voltage is given as 9.81 volts, right? Okay, here is my question number four. Time required to reach 7.8 volts across the capacitor. So that means we need to find the time when the voltage across the capacitor is, okay? When the voltage across the capacitor is, that means output voltage is 7.8 volts, okay? So when the output voltage is 7.8 volts, find out what is the time, okay? Or for uh, reaching to 7.8 volts, how much is the time that is required, right? What is the output voltage that is given as? The output voltage that is given is 10 into 1 minus e power minus t by tau, right? So what is given? V naught of t is given as 7.8 volts for which you need to find out t because tau is already given as 25 microseconds. So find out what is t such that your output is 7.8 volts. So just replace your output with 7.8 volts that is equal to 10 into 1 minus e power minus of t by tau where tau is nothing but 25 microseconds, right? Okay. T is equal to tau into ln 1 by 0 0.22. So that is equal to tau is 25 microseconds into ln. This value is roughly 1.51. So that is equal to 37.85 microseconds, okay? 37.85 microseconds, right? Okay, so this is what is the fourth question is. Fifth question is time required, okay? Time required to reach 4.8 volts across the resistor, okay? That means what you look at here, your circuit, okay? This input is 10 volts. When you want intentionally across the resistor 4.8 volts, then voltage across the capacitor is 5.2 volts. 
for that to happen determine what is the time okay so that means for your okay that means this is the fifth question when vr is equal to 4.8 volts find t okay so when vr is 4.8 volts what is my v not of t is my v not of t is nothing but 10 minus 4.8 volts so 10 minus 4.8 volts is nothing but 5.2 volts so for my output to reach 5.2 volts what is the time okay so you know your expression for the output v not of t is equal to right 10 into 1 minus e power minus t by tau right so that is equal to 10 into 1 minus e power minus of t by tau is 25 microseconds right v naught of t is given as 5.2 volts then you determine what is your t okay that will be taking care of your voltage across the resistor is 4.8 volts okay so what is my t value okay what is my t value when i simplify this is right it is going to be tau into ln 1 by 0 0.48 that is given as 25 into 0 0.733 25 into 0 0.733 that is equal to 18.34 microseconds okay 18.34 microseconds okay so for your voltage across the resistor to be 4.8 volts the time that is required is 18.34 microseconds okay so this will end up our problem okay so i hope you have understood what we discussed in today's class okay so thank you very much for watching and see you next time thank you